I just wanted to make this quick video as Unity developers and developers in general don't really understand what's at play here. And uh, we knew that something like this can happen, actually, and it has happened many, many times before. It's just that people have forgotten and they do not realize or they refuse to acknowledge the heroes that have told us about these things before. And it's just a it's just sad that the people in the world that are actually making a difference are forgotten. Unity's Unity is a proprietary piece of software. So is Unreal, except that you can take a look at their source code, but you can't really modify it in any way or redistribute it. Unity is not free software. And when software is not free, the company controls the user. The user does not control the software. And uh, this is... This is sad as it explains or not explains, it tells me that the world still hasn't learned a lot of lessons that it should have learned a long time ago. I mean, you have so many things going wrong in the world and then you still don't learn from them. I mean, we knew all along that Unity is a organization and they have control over their software, just like most organizations have that do not, do not release their software under a free software license. Why are you guys surprised that they have changed their pricing fee? And why are you complaining? The, the, the thing is that it is basically our fault as people it is our fault as people, as developers, we used proprietary piece, proprietary software. I use Windows 10. I will never complain if they if they make a decision that will affect me. I use Linux too, by the way. I always keep an alternative. Uh, I mean, use Windows 10 primarily because it works better. Uh, Unity works better on Windows 10, so I have to use it. Why do we complain when we are the ones that are basically at fault on a basic level if we use proprietary software and if we use things that we cannot control we should not complain about those things when the company that controls that software makes a decision that may not suit us it is as simple as that so I know that people will not learn. You've got big, big frauds in the U.S. right now. Uh, you've got fraud companies like I will not mention the name of any of any company, but there are so many, so many companies, so many people in the world that are that are making the world a terrible place to live. There are so many bad decisions that people are taking in the world these days. And uh, to honestly, I think that it is. It is a problem with humans, as far as I can tell, that they can't identify the people that are correct. Much, most people in the world cannot identify people that are correct in this world. Richard Stallman was always correct when he spoke about why software should be free, as he wanted the people to, be, uh, to have full control over the software. And nobody knows Richard Stallman. I'm pretty sure that, well, I am said nobody, it's actually not true. Most people that are watching this video probably do not know who Richard Stallman is. And if Richard Stallman did not exist, we would not have the GNU slash Linux operating system. I will just tell that to you. And of course, so we wouldn't have Linux if, if, um, if the creator, how did I forget his name? Linus Torvalds didn't didn't uh didn't uh exist we wouldn't have wouldn't, we wouldn't have the uh, these pieces of software so the main issue i believe is the is the is is the is the fact that human beings don't know what's good for them most human beings don't if they did then 
we wouldn't be making bad decisions we wouldn't be electing people that would that would hurt us we wouldn't be we wouldn't be uh pushing people that are psychopaths and can harm and we would always nourish people that are smarter than us and are more capable than us we don't do that so uh, it's just something that i wanted to get off my chest as i'm as I see these, uh, see a lot of videos on Unity uh, these days, and well, what do you expect? Uh, most of my clients use Apple hardware, okay, and uh, we all know that Apple wants to just make sure that you, as a user, do not go anywhere else. Like no freedom, like you do, you, you don't really own your hardware, as Apple can make a decision at any time which would affect you. Uh, the right to repair the attacked uh, independent workshops or independent repair shops as well. Uh, you cannot really modify your iPhone even if you wanted to, and if even if that was an option, you can't do that. They have absolute control over their over their over their uh, hardware and the and the things that they sell. And when Apple something doesn't work, people complain about it. I'm like, why did you buy Apple in the first place? You should have brought a phone or a device which is just. Um, which is simply offers you freedom, which uh, lets you do whatever you want with it. And you can also have Apple on the side, like you can, you should have an alternative at all times. I'm not saying you should go full, like free software and uh, everything should be free and your AC should have free software as well and everything should have free software. No, there should be an alternative that you should have at uh, at any given time. You should always have like a, like a fallback thing, which should be a, Freedom, uh, something that offers you freedom, basically. It should be everywhere in your life. Like, let's say I have this uh, this mug right now. I, I'm not, I cannot compare really a, a mug to a piece of software as they're two different things, but I can do whatever I want with this mug. I can paint it. I can write my name on it. Um, and I can make whatever modifications I want. There are certain companies that don't really allow that. In fact, uh, some there are some companies that actually their warranty gets um, the warranty that is on the product. Actually, uh, I think it uh, you lose a warranty even if you call an independent repair guy to even change a screw on on a particular device. Like for example, my AC, my air con air conditioner, uh, my air condition conditioning unit. If I call an independent repair guy to work on it, my warranty is gone. So what I'm trying to say is, is that we as a human beings should improve and we should know what's best for us. We should be making the right decisions based on what we have learned in the past. I'm not going to say we can make right decisions, the correct decisions immediately. We learn from the past. But the problem is we keep on repeating the same mistake over and over again and then com and then complain about those mistakes that uh, that we have made. So the mistake was not to uh, was to first of all use unity and rely solely on unity. Uh, when there is a free alternative like Godot, we should have also had that on the side, not totally relying on unity. We should have that free software alternative on the side. I'm not saying that you should to totally switch to Godot because I can understand that Unity has got quite a lot of features that Godot doesn't have. It's like pretty like stupid if I just say that you should only use Godot and not Unity. That's not true. But you should always have kept an alternative, which I know most Unity devs did not did not have. Like they didn't did they didn't didn't uh they didn't even uh most Unity devs that I know don't don't use Godot. Whereas I did did uh complete a course on Udemy uh, and it was for first person shooter and I have that I mean I learned it even though I knew Unity and I was not using Godot at that time I still did it because I knew that uh, Unity might make a decision that may affect me similarly I've got Linux on the site because I know that Windows might make some decision that I don't like and it might affect me uh, 